Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Sir Dan again. For today's video, I'll be discussing about operations on functions. So we all know we have the four basic operations in mathematics and they are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. For today's video, we will just be discussing about addition, subtraction, and multiplication because I'll be having a separate video for uh, division kasi medyo mahaba ang discussion dun. So let's start the discussion about operations on function. So let's have the given. I have here, I have here the three given equations. We have f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 10. We have the g of x equals 3x minus 5. And the h of x equals x squared plus 7. So these are the equations that we will be using to solve and to show you the operations on function. So let's have the first example. Now, the operation that is involved in the first example is addition. What are we going to add? f of x and g of x. For this example, we will not be using h of x because it's not part of the given. So let's solve f of x plus g of x. As you can see, we don't have the value of x because there are times that x is or x will have a value. But in this example, um, x doesn't have a value. So if you solve that, then we just have to combine like terms. f of x, we just have to put the equation of f of x, which is this. 2x squared plus 4x minus 10. Let's put that here. 2x squared plus 4x minus 10. Let's put parentheses for f of x. Then addition plus the g of x is 3x minus 5. 3x minus 5. Then after changing the values for the f of x and the value for g of x we we have to look for the similar terms when we say similar terms dapat pareha sila ng exponent example 2x squared titingin ka sa kabilang parenthesis kung merong may x squared doon hindi naman exactly na 2x squared pero dapat may exponent na 2 so as you can see on the other parenthesis we cannot see any term that has x squared. Ibig sabihin, kukopya lang natin 2x squared. Next is 4x. You proceed with 4x, tingga sa kabilang side kung meron ding may x doon. Ito, 3x. Same term sila, so you have to add them. Pag sinabing add, hindi necessarily na magpa-plus yung value ha, kasi may mga rules tayo sa integers. Kapag magkaparehas, we have to add. Pag magkaiba, we have to we have to subtract. So, dito, positive 4 and positive 3. So, they have the same sign. We just have to add them. 4 plus 3 is 7. Some students might do this. The adding of exponent. Yung x, yung nagawin lang x squared. Mali po yun. Kapag nagko-combine lang tayo ng terms, dapat kopyahin lang natin yung variable, which is x. So, 7, in natin then x. So, if we're done with this. Let's have here the negative 10 which is called as constant. Negative 10, tigyan natin kung may constant sa kabila. Meron tayong negative 5. So since parehas naman silang negative, we can just simply add them. So 10 plus 5 is 15. Then don't forget to copy the sign. Or you can just put them on your calculator. Negative 10. And then plus negative 5. The answer is negative 15. So, lagay mo dito, minus 15. So, that's it. Kapag na-combine mo na lahat ng terms, yung 2x squared, nag-remain lang siya kasi wala naman siyang kaparehas. This will, be, this will be your final answer. That's how you do the addition. Okay? Let's proceed now with um, subtraction. We have f of x minus h of x. Same process. We'll do the same process. f of x is 2x squared plus 4x minus 10. Copy them. 
So 2x squared plus 4x minus 10. Put parentheses. Minus, lagi tayo minus dito. Then h of x is x squared plus 7. This time, g of x will not be utilized in our solution. So 3x, I'm oh sorry, x squared pala. x squared, wala tong ano, 3. x squared plus 7. So, paano nga gawin natin? Magsusubtract tayo. Ganun pa rin dapat similar ng term. So, 2x squared, meron ba siyang kapares sa kabila na may x squared? Yun, meron. Which is x squared. So, you have to subtract their numerical coefficient. The numerical coefficient of this is 2. While in here, walang nakasulat pero it's automatically 1. So, meron tayong 2, positive 2, then lagay mo minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. Then copy x squared. Ang ilalagay mo lang dito ay x squared. 2x squared minus x squared is x squared na lang. Next, we have 4x. And then, dito sa kabila, wala namang may x, x squared do. So, hindi sila similar. So, wala tayong i-co-combine kay 4x. Copy lang natin si 4x. Next, negative 10 minus 7 negative 10 minus 7 so ilalagay mo na sa calculator yan um, negative 10 then minus 7 that is equal to negative 17 so negative 17 so this will be your final answer okay Merong ibang way, kasi baka, pag di kayo gumamit ng calculator, baka malito kayo. etong negative na to, pwede mo i-distribute yan. Magbabago rin yung mga sign dito. Magiging negative x squared to, then magiging negative 7 to. Pero ito, magiging plus na. So, ganun pa rin magiging sagot nun. 2x squared, magiging plus, tapos negative x squared. So, 2 plus negative 1 is positive pa rin. Positive x squared pa rin. Pero you can just simply put this on your calculator. Then, always copy the same term. Huwag niyong i-add ang exponent. So that, that's how you do subtraction. Next, let's have this third example. We have here the multiplication of G and H. So let's get the product or G times H of X. Uh, it can also be written as this. G, H, yan, pinagtabi lang natin then of X. That is also multiplication. So, in multiplication, we usually use FOIL method. So, in FOIL method, yung F-O-I-L. FOIL, first, outer, inner, and last. So, para mas maintindihan nyo, let's have the G, 3X minus 5. Parenthesis. Then, you don't need to put the dot here because when two parentheses are written beside each other that means already multiplication so yung h of x x squared plus 7 okay mo dito, kinopya lang natin yung g kinopya lang natin yung h, pinagtabi natin and close by parentheses next, let's multiply them using FOIL method, you start with 3x 3x will be multiplied to x squared 3x times x squared, that's the time that you will add the exponent and multiply the numerical coefficients. So, may 1 yan dito. 3 times 1 is 3. We have x and x squared. You add them, magiging x raised to 3. I mean, you add the exponent. Next, 3x is not yet done multiplying because you still have to multiply 3x to 7. 3x times 7 is 3 times 7. 21. So, plus 21. Then, copy mo yung x. Negative 5. Mumultiply natin kay x squared. Wala naman, wala naman tong x. So, pwede mo lang pagtabihin yan. So, negative 5x squared. The negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. After doing the FOIL method, Anyway, ito pala yung first natin, 3x saka 7. Yung outer, 
ano, 3x saka x squared yung first natin. Yung outer natin, 3x saka 7. Yung dalawang nasa labas. Next, yung inner natin, itong dalawang nasa loob. Then, yung last natin, itong negative 5 and 7. So, ito na yung magiging product natin but it's not yet done because we still have to arrange them and see if there are similar terms to combine. So, 3x cubed, wala naman ang kapares na may x cubed dyan. So, copy mo lang 3x cubed. Next, ang kasunod na may pinakamataas ng exponent o mas mataas ng exponent ay yung x squared. So, itong negative 5 x squared, wala naman siyang kaparehas. Copy natin, minus 5 x squared. Si 21 x, copy natin, plus 21 x, then minus 35. Inarrange lang natin siya actually. So, this will be your final answer. The product of G and H. Next, let's have some more examples. This time, there is a value of x for G and there is another value of f or, or x for, the, for f. So, ang gagawin lang dito is to evaluate each function. So, evaluation muna tayo ng function. G of 2, meaning to say, you will be using equation of g of x, which is 3x minus 5. So, copy 3x minus 5. Parenthesis. Then plus, yung f of negative 1, you copy the equation of f, which is this. And then, you change the values of x. Lahat ng x papalitan mo. Pero iba yung value dito sa first parenthesis, iba yung value sa second parenthesis. So dito, yung first x dito, in this parenthesis, will be substituted by the value, by the value of x here, which is 2. So magiging 3, then times 2, minus 5, then close parenthesis. Yung x lang ang pinalta natin, then copy everything. Plus, 2, parenthesis muna, copy, 2. Then, yung x dito, papalta mo ngayon ng negative 1. Parenthesis, negative 1, raise to 2. Plus, 4, copy, then change x to negative 1 also, minus 10, then close parenthesis. Then, that's the time that you will solve each parenthesis. So, dito muna tayo, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. So you have here 1. Then plus. Okay na to. 1 na yan. Plus. Ito na yan. Then ito naman tayo. You start with parenthesis. Negative 1. Raised to 2. That is equal to 1. So let's prove that. Parenthesis. Parenthesis negative 1. Close parenthesis. Raised to 2. So that is equal to positive 1. This negative 1 raised to 2 is equal to 1 times 2. That is equal to 2. 2. Meron tayo dito 2. Para dito. So, ito tingnan natin. Then, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Then, ito negative 10. Then, ikukombine na natin sila. 2 plus negative 4 minus 10. Lagay natin. 2 then plus negative 4 plus negative 4 minus 10. That is equal to negative 12. So, lagay natin dito for the value of the second parenthesis is negative 12. Then, finally, you have to combine them. 1 plus negative 12, that is equal to negative 11. Just to make sure of your final answer, lagay natin. 1 plus negative 12. You don't need to put parenthesis anymore. Dalawang values na lang naman yan. So, the answer is negative 11. So, that is the answer in here. Next, let's have number 5. Pagtan ko ito, number 5 ito. Let's have f of negative 2 minus h of 3. So, f of negative 2, you write the equation of f, which is 2 x squared plus 4x minus 10. Parenthesis. Minus h of x naman, which is x squared plus 7. So we have different value for x of f para naman sa x ni h. So dito, pagdan natin lahat ng x ng negative 2. Kasi yun yung value ng f. 2 
the negative 2 raised to 2 plus 4 times negative 2 minus 10. Then parenthesis. Nandito pa rin dalawang parenthesis ha. Minus, parenthesis ulit, yung x palta natin ng 3 naman. So palta natin siya ng 3, then raised to 2, plus 7. Next, let's evaluate this. So let's start with exponent. Kasi PEMDAS ang sinusunod natin. Okay, alam nyo na yan. Uh, parenthesis muna. So, ito may mga parenthesis. Exponent, multiplication or division, then addition or subtraction. So, negative 2 raised to 2, that is equal to positive 4. Okay? Positive 4 times 2, that is equal to 8. So, final term natin dito ay 8. Para lang dito yan. Next, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Pag nilagay mo sa calcule, 4 times negative 2. Pag ganyan. That is equal to negative 8. So, meron tayong negative 8, then negative 10. So, meron kong 8 dito, total na ito, negative 8 naman dito sa second term, then third term is negative 10. So, 8 plus negative 8, cancel na yan. Or kasi 8 minus 8 na yun. So, 0 na yun, na matitira natin ay negative 10. Next, let's have this minus. Parenthesis dito pala. Then minus, let's have this. 3 raised to 2 is equal to 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. So, minus 16. Then, i-evaluate lang natin to. Negative 10, lagay natin. Negative, negative 10 minus 16. Ulit ito. Negative 10 minus 16. That is equal to negative 26. So the answer in number 5 is negative 26. Take note that if you have values for x, your final answer would, would be a number with no variables. Next, let's have the last example here. We have the product of h of g of 1. We only have one value of x. Therefore, you will be using 1 for the value of x in h at the same time in G. So, gawin natin yan. Um, H natin ay X squared plus 7. Yung G natin ay 3X minus 5. Lagay natin. So, we have two parentheses written beside each other to signify multiplication. So, next, let's change the value of x all x all x's will become 1 so we have 1 squared plus 7 also in here you have to change x into 1 3 1 times 1 minus 5 after changing the values of x we have to simplify 1 squared is 1 1 plus 7 is 8 so we have the first value for the first parenthesis only, which is 8. 1 squared is 1, then this one, 7, you add them 8. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. To check, 3 minus 5, that is equal to negative 2. So lagay natin another parenthesis, negative 2. Dalawang parenthesis na magkatabi kasi, ito yan, multiplication yan. So you have to multiply them for the final answer. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. To check, 8 times negative 2 is equal to negative 16. So this will be your final answer. So that's how you do the operations on function. I hope that you enjoyed the video and you learned something from this. Don't forget to subscribe to keep you more updated on my next video.